God bless and welcome, YouTubers. This is Pastor Vega coming to you from Northeast Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Um, happy holidays. Happy Thanksgiving to all who celebrate and happy holidays to all that who don't celebrate. It says happy day to those that just don't celebrate anything, but it's the day of the Lord. Um, I'm here to share with you something that God has given me today. Um, it's a verse that talks about thanksgiving. And it says like this, let's do a quick prayer, just to give thanks for what the Lord has made today for us, because remember, some people just didn't. So today is a beautiful day, because even if we have issues going on, we have something to be grateful for on a day like today. I'm actually in my mother's house, so if you hear any thumping noises or anything like going around, I apologize, I'm just visiting my parents, or my mother in this case. Um, so yeah, let's uh, give a quick prayer, and we'll let's get started. Father God, we thank you for this marvelous day, Lord. We thank you for the day that you have made. We thank you, Father, for even though today is a Thanksgiving day, and today is so sort of taken to Thanksgiving, but it's just basically a, a date that, is, that, that we focus on giving to, uh, Thanksgiving. But we thank you, Lord, for every single day because every day should be Thanksgiving in you. Every day is a Thanksgiving in you, Lord, because everything you do, Lord, is for us, God, and it's for our convenience, Lord. And it's just to... to it's just for us, God. It's for every. It's for all of us, God. And you have made every single day for us, God, because you love us that much, Lord. Father God, right now I'm going to share something that you, whatever, what you have given me. I pray that it gets um, it gets planted in in uh, in uh, fertile hearts, Lord. And I declare in Jesus' name that this word is will. Um, will give fruits in its moments, Lord, in your time, God. And I thank you, Lord, for all of those people, for all of, for everyone that's listening, God. In the name of Jesus Christ, Lord, I declare to God that your word does not turn back void, God. And it will be planted, God, and it will give life to all those who need life, God. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> so the word is, um, what he's given me is found in 1 Corinthians chapter 1. Verse 4 to 9, it says, In the name of the Father, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit, I thank my God always concerning you for the grace of God which was given to you by Christ Jesus, that you were enriched in everything by him in all utterance and all knowledge, even as the, test, as the testimony of Christ was confirmed to you, <clears throat> in you. So that you come short in no gifts, eagerly waiting for the revelation of our Lord Jesus Christ, who will also confirm you to the end that you may be blameless in the day of our Lord Jesus Christ. God is faithful by whom you were called into the fellowship of his Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. I just added that part of Savior, but same thing. God is a great God. God is an awesome God. It's just uh, I'm in love with who everything he is because through Jesus, it's just, this is just so much different than mainstream, mainstream Christianity because this is about him and what he has done for us. And on a day like today, it's good to give Thanksgiving because it's just... And the, the title, the, the reason why not, what, what he's given me today is that it's for our convenience. And what I love about this is that he has he has blessed us in a way that we don't we shall not be in want. Yes, we can have our desires, we can have our um, you know, our our little knickknacks and here and there, and you know, and he wants to bless us with more things than just ask him in faith. But the best thing that he has given us is his his son in salvation, and the even and one of the, the the perks of that it says it right here, for all of those who are in Jesus, you are blameless. You have no fault. You have no blame. 
we may see each other in a way that he we we look at each other and we're like, oh, but I'm so sinful, I'm this, I'm that, because we see ourselves in our carnal eyes. I like to I have this thing. If you look at me through your eyes, through your mentality, you will see my flaws. But if you see me through the eyes of Jesus, through the eyes of God, you should you would see him. Because all of us, every single one that's a believer, we are all, when God sees us, he doesn't see who we are. He sees his son Jesus. He sees Christ because that's what Christ did. He he took our identity and made it his. So basically, we have his identity. We have been uh, closed with Christ. So with that being said, all of us who basically, all of us who are in Christ, it says here in verse 8, if you don't believe me, believe this, the Bible. It's his word. In verse 8, it says, who will also confirm to you the end that you be blameless in the day of, a, of the Lord Jesus Christ. Those of us who like to love to talk about Judgment Day, it says right here that when the day of the Lord comes, those of us who are in Him will be found blameless. Because there is no condemnation to those who are in Jesus Christ. The difference between those that are, are not believers is that it doesn't matter what they do, they're just, they're, they're not, unfortunately, they, they're full of fault and blame. But Jesus died for us in such a way that Jesus, what Jesus did for us in such a way is that he made us, he made us, we're still with fault. So in a in our self way, we are still faulty. Like if without Jesus, we are still fault. But the difference that Jesus makes in our lives is that we are now blameless because he made us blameless. There's a difference between being naturally being like, um, guilty or blameful or anything that's like you know frowned upon, but through Jesus Christ has made you blameless. I don't know if you understand what that means. Basically, Jesus just he he wiped away all sin, all your sins. As long as you forgive, as long as we forgive each other, he he is good to forgive us. But that's the thing we have to forgive each other. But with <clears throat> With with the point of that is that we've been made blameless before him. We've been made blameless before God. So if that's not a reason to give thanks to the Lord, I don't know what is. And through Jesus, we have we have fellowship through through the King. We have been made um, ch his children through adoption. So Jesus really does make an entire difference. So I just wanted to read this and give another quick prayer for those who are interested. And in hopes that, and having faith, that this word talks to you and gives you peace of mind, gives you a piece of, of, of inner peace, and helps you strengthen your relationship with Christ, with God through Christ. So at this moment, let's give a quick prayer. And I just want to make this short. But yeah, remember, through Christ you are blameless. Stop blaming yourself for, for your past. Stop blaming yourself for things that you probably have no control over. Depend on God. Depend on Jesus. Ask if you have anything that you, that's bothering you mentally. Ask the Holy Spirit to, to cast those things away. The Holy Spirit lives inside of you so that you can have all the authority over, over any uh, spiritual... Um, uh, any spiritual negativities, like if you have any sort of guilt or any sort of like anything that's inside of you that's like eating you up, and talk to the Holy Spirit. That's why He's there. That's why Jesus sent God sent the Holy Spirit, so the Holy Spirit can, because since Jesus no, it's not yes, He lives inside us, but He has left the Holy Spirit in us, so that we can count on the Holy Spirit as well. So with that being said, let's pray. Father God, we thank you for this amazing word. We thank you for your daily bread. We thank you, Lord, Father, because we have been made blameless through Christ in you. We have no faults in you, Christ, because when you see us, Father, you see your son, Jesus. You see Christ because we have been, re, we have been reclosed with, with Christ. 
So we thank you, Father. And Father, we, we hope that, that I declare inner peace. I declare, God, that you bring um, your identity in us, Lord, that we may see ourselves blameless how you see us, how you see us, Lord. That any types of guilt, any types of blame that we may have with each other, Lord, that that, that may, may be casted away in Jesus' name. Because your word says in 1 Corinthians chapter 1, verse 8, that we have been made blameless for the day of your coming, Lord. So we thank you, Father, for, for your son. We thank you for making us blameless before you, Lord. In Jesus' name, and I pray that everyone that hears this, Lord, will 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 grow in this word, Lord, and everyone that, that, that reads this, Lord God, may have a, a special encounter with you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. We thank you, Father. Amen. All right, guys, stay tuned in a few days, and I'll be send, I'll be talking about something else that whatever has God has given me. And if anyone doesn't have any place to congregate, again, my pet, my name is Pastor Vega, and I am located in northeast section of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, by the Wilson Boulevard currently. And yeah, if you just have a, if you want, if you need and want a place to congregate, if you're looking for a new place. Come by and and make um make this one your home, and just God bless and happy Thanksgiving. <laughs>